Well, I wanted to introduce you to my kitchen and teach you a household favorite, one of our all-time favorite cookies. We make pizzelles. It's a staple in many Italian homes. A lot of people make them very different, but I'm gonna give you the next six to eight minutes to learn how to make pizzelles. So what do you need for the pizzelle making? You need a pizzelle maker, and I already turned it on so it's a little bit warm. You're gonna need a mixing bowl. You're gonna need your ingredients, something to mix it with. You're gonna need a place to cool your cookies. You're gonna need your parch paper, your shortening, some flavors, some anise, some vanilla. Some people like to use almond and chocolate, and some like to use uh, vanilla. So anyways, and yes, you cannot forget the eggs, that's right. And I have some assistants with me today too. So we're gonna get started right away. We're gonna get with the six eggs. And I'm gonna try to do these quick and not get anything in the bowl, any shells. So I don't know about you, but when we make cookies, it's usually a weekend event. Every home does it a little different, but we do it over the a whole weekend. We make all kinds of cookies. Always to make sure you wash your hands in between the eggs and the rest of the things you touch. You don't want to get any salmonella, any, any funk, because I like to call it. So then after that, you're going to want to make sure, typically make sure that the iron is already on. You're going to crack the eggs. Ahead of time, I pre-measured the flour and the sugar. So I already did that. So we're going to slowly put that in with the eggs. We're also going to put in the melted shortening. So we're gonna put it all in right away. Kind of get that going. Slowly we're gonna start putting in the sugar and the flour. Mix it a little bit. When you have a little bit longer, you, it's much easier to do this and really measure it out slow. Use the guidance of your gut but when you are on a timer, you gotta do it ahead of time. So I already grated, but I wanted to make sure, cause some people don't know what that means when you say grate a lemon peel. So I grab the grater and I grate it just like this. And you take the little grate, you put it in, and then I already, I already squeezed the lemon, so we already have the juice. So we're gonna put that in. And then I already pre-measured for time's sake, the anise and the vanilla. We're gonna put that in too. Anise is probably one of my favorite kind of pizzao cookies. The smell, oh, it's like that black licorice. Mmm, so good. So I'm old school. I like to use my hand and not use a mixer. Some people think that's like barbaric, but I actually think it tastes better. As you can see, it's got a thick consistency. It's not a real smooth cookie. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna mix it up. Also, I think one of the coolest parts about this cookie is every family has a different recipe. And from person to person, there's a different recipe. I've, I personally have three or four that I like to use. I think this one though has come out the best over the years, which is why I chose this one for today. This will help keep your, your arms in shape, I'll tell you. You don't have to go to the gym if you know how to work dough. That's for sure. So I want to show you the pizzelle maker. It's a special iron and it actually is extremely hot all around it. It actually has little cute figures on there. The best part is, now I see why Giada and What's her name? Rachel Ray. I see why they got one in the oven ahead of time, because good lord, no wonder. Anyway, just kidding. They 
making a joke. So you want to mix it like so. You want to see, see it's not, it's not too, uh, it's, it's still thick when you do it. You take the spoon and you want to take about, about a teaspoon worth. And you're going to stick it right there in the center of the pizza maker. You can hear it kind of sizzle. And like I said, I already have it warmed up. And then you take this, you close it. You'll see right here, you've got settings. There's a one, two, three, four, five. Every single machine is made a little different. It's green. It's gonna let me know as soon as it turns over when the cookie's done. When the cookie's done, I'm gonna take it out with my spatula, take it out, and I'm gonna put it here to, uh, to cool. And then you do this process all the way until all the dough is done. So it takes a good 30 minutes to do it all together. But I wanted you to see how an amazing cookie can be made with just simple pieces. So all you needed was a pizza maker, and you can find those anywhere nowadays. You need a mixing bowl, the ingredients. So you just needed your anise, your vanilla, your eggs, your shortening. You needed some sugar, some flour, and a little bit of muscle. And that's all you need to make an amazing Italian cookie. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. I hope you try it for yourself at home. If you don't like black licorice or anise flavor, make sure you try almond or vanilla alone, or maybe try some uh, chocolate. Have fun with it. Thank you.